Hello amigos, ramen coming at ya. We all know Family Guy, right? Created by Seth MacFarlane. It's an adult cartoon about a dysfunctional family. You got Peter, Lois, Meg, Chris, Stewie, and the talking dog, Brian. The show also has cutaways that can be hit or miss at times. Not every joke lands, but when it does, it's pretty magical. Joe is on a vacation far away. You call them up to talk it over. While the show continues to air, it's debatable if it's still good or not. I've seen the new season of Family Guy, and the episodes are pretty decent. But no episodes are more iconic in Family Guy than the Road 2 episodes. These episodes pair Brian and Stewie as they go on crazy adventures. Some involve time travel or having to stop Stewie's archenemy, Bertram. But because it's the holiday season, I thought it'd be great to quickly look over the best holiday special Family Guy has ever created. Created. Road to the North Pole. The special sees Stewie and Brian at the mall. After a misunderstanding that makes Brian look like a douche. That little guy is my niece, Abby, you douche. Her hair's short because of the chemotherapy. Uh-oh. Do you know how much talking it took to get her out of the house because of her no hair? Oh, gosh. I, I didn't know. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're sorry? Yeah, great, great job, Brian. Stewie tries to meet Santa and is filled with disappointment when Santa doesn't give him the time. This leads Brian and Stewie on a trip to the North Pole, as Stewie wants to kill Santa. Then why do you want to go all the way to the North Pole? Because I'm going to kill Santa Claus. Along the way, they encounter various obstacles and challenges, such as a hostile truck driver, a fake Santa's village, and a horde of feral reindeer. They also learn the harsh truth about Santa's workshop, which is a polluted and overworked factory, where the elves are inbred and deformed, and Santa himself is a sick and depressed old man. Brian and Stewie, seeing Santa is sick, try to deliver the gifts themselves. However, their attempts fail miserably. And, I mean, they pretty much beat the crap out of a family. It's okay, it's okay. Brian, see if you can find some duct tape. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Mama! <laughs> Alright, let's get this place cleaned up. Yeah, pretty bad. It's Christmas Day, and, well, everyone's sad because they didn't get any gifts under their tree. Brian and Stewie then go on the news and send the message to Quahog, which is to limit their demands and expectations. The workload of filling our Christmas lists has overwhelmed him. And at the rate he's going, he may not make it another year. But there's a way for us to help him. If all of us everywhere can just cut back our demands and ask for only one Christmas present every year, there may still be hope. Now, I know it's in our nature to resist sacrifice, even in hard times, but if we don't, we may have to give up Christmas altogether. Then see everyone in Kohog receive the one gift they wanted. And the episode ends. What makes this episode enjoyable is not only the music, but the writing feels very heartwarming and comedic. The narration from Seth MacFarlane's dad elevates the episode and gives it a holiday touch. I also enjoy the cuts to Seth's dad, my favorite being him talking about cartoon farts and him doing a real fart straight up. Seth's dad is the freaking best. Hey, you want to hear a real live action fart instead of one of those fake cartoony ones? We're gonna need another pair of pants and another chair. This Road 2 episode also has some of my favorite writing from Stewie and Brian. In this episode, we see Brian being a bit skeptical about the North Pole's existence, and Stewie is on the opposite side and believes Santa is real. Stewie goes to extreme lengths to get his revenge. He even blows up a truck in the process. The reveal that Santa is real and sick is a good twist. This episode easily could have been Stewie kills Santa Claus, but I'm glad it's not because the message at the end is what honestly brings the episode together. The songs in this episode, All I Want For Christmas and Christmas Time Is Killing Us, is beautifully orchestrated and well written. These are catchy tunes that I listen to every Christmas. This episode honestly is one of my favorites to watch every year. It's an episode I do recommend if you want to watch something Christmas related. With that, my name is Ramen. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Yeah.